I have like 10 people in my ear right now. So to give you guys an example of what's popping in, I have <coughs> someone who was crushed and passed via crushing. Um, there's like a lot popping in. I'm like, oh, we're overwhelmed. Okay, I'm gonna see. Uh, does anybody know of any men who were killed in any work accidents who were like crushed? This is weird. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Jane and see if we can we can talk. Hi. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Oh my god, us. I'm so excited. Oh, it's so nice good to, to talk meet to you. you. I really can you hear appreciate. Me? I can. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can. I'm gonna turn you up just a tad. Sorry for my oh, hand being messed. I love it. It's so good to see nice you. Thank you for, for joining us. And I, I want to kind yeah. of delve right in and I apologize for just rolling okay. right in, but I, I've got this kind of tragic situation that feels complicated. Um, it is. The way that I would describe this is if someone has described this as like a freak accident or like a weird, bizarre, something you would like see on TV. Like it doesn't seem normal by any stretch of the imagination in a traditional way. Do you okay. understand that on some level? Yes, yeah, I okay. do. Um, taking it was several, several situations. Okay, gotcha. I gotta highlight this guy who would have passed away prematurely, and he's hitting me as basically this feeling of being a little um, young at heart. <laughs> and mm -hmm. when he comes across, he that usually translates to reckless. By the way, <laughs> but uh, yeah, sometimes, perfect. Sometimes it can indicate if someone like like to drive fast or like to you know do things that were fun that maybe <laughs> were more attributed to younger people. There's kind of that vibe that comes through, but uh, there's a feeling of very much I'm here and then I'm gone. So bam, like a very, very quick, sudden nature of this. Yeah. You know, but, it's, um, it's interesting. Yeah. It's there was a lot of tragedy around his death, but um, there's two people and I don't know if it's like he's been gone. So, oh my goodness. Almost 20 years. And then there's a more recent death death and I've gotten signs from him. Okay. So the more recent death, I don't know if they're using him to come through as well. I think so. Because I, so. I had a reading from someone else recently and he was with the other person. Yes. It is, I always tell people, a group effort. It's collaborative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so they really kind of come through as one. Um, but in, in kind of speaking to that more recent situation, um, I can try to kind of tune into that a little bit more and, and we can kind of see. Do you know like a first initial for that one? Um, J. Okay, cool. Let me just give it a scribble and we can focus on change. change, change, change. Yeah. Let's see if we're going to get there. So this is good to keep in mind. When we focus on Jay, my my shift kind of goes to the time of year and I just need to bring bring up an emphasis around Christmas time. So this is just good to keep in mind. Anytime they bring up December, it usually is an emphasis around birthdays, anniversaries, death dates, days of celebration or acknowledgement that would be annual, okay. but um, kind of in a more sentimental way. So okay. bring that up. He keeps having me acknowledge his mother over and over again. Mom, mom, okay. mom, 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 over and again. Um, there's a joke about somebody, uh, basically a bunch of girls. <laughs> so uh, this is just remember that I'm saying this. So there's a bunch of estrogen, and I feel like the one testosterone among a bunch of estrogen. Okay. <laughs> there's kind of a, a funniness of somebody feeling like fish out of water among a bunch of girls. And okay. uh, an acknowledgement there. And then I want to bring up, um, separate from this, this, this J connection is connecting with another family member that also passed and okay. needing to acknowledge their togetherness. But that other family member actually would be much older. So if there's like a previous like a grandparent or something, yeah. I like I want to highlight, we're together, we're together, we're together. And that keeps coming through. And uh, that's been a question. Uh, that sometimes will come through as almost like an answer. Okay. So that, that pops in there. Um, do you know if anybody was not, uh, let me th think of how to state what I'm seeing. So my symbol for life support comes through, but then I keep seeing eh, red X through that. And that usually yep. indicates not having it, not wanting it, just take me as I am. Yep. Um, this person was spoken to while they were still technically alive, but not with it in some, I don't know how really to explain this, this is going to sound okay. nuts, but there's a sense of somebody speaking out to this individual around when they passed and it might have even been like right before but there's this feeling of my soul registers this um even before i physically passed so it's like a really weird situation yeah but it's very it unique um it is what happened um so if you're talking about the recent passing and 
Christmas and it was my mom who passed away in September. Got it. And um, her remains were sent to me right before Christmas. And we did something very um, off the beaten path with her remains. So um, I got signs the night that she was returned to me. Yeah. So it's ironic that you say that she's, yeah. that it was around Christmas. I got like a really specific sign, like a crazy sign. Oh yeah. Like smack you in the face, like you can't deny it sign. Absolutely. And those are the <laughs> Multiple best. Multiple signs. Yeah, yes. Those really kind of remove all doubt and that can be some of the best things. And so my mom um, got really sick and we stopped her treatment oh. and did not choose any life's like extenuating circumstances, but you know, she was heavily medicated yeah. <laughs> during the time that she was um, passing. So like yeah. when we chose what to do with her, right. um, since it was so off the beaten path, yes. we decided to do um, human composting and terramation wow. and made her soil. Wow. So it's wow. really beautiful. And that's kind of the signs that I want to know if like, she's really happy about that and stuff. Oh, so, course. well, I, I can tell you that that it really speaks to how much she was loved to be able to take something like that. And in that send off, you know, kind of give back to the earth yeah. in a beautiful way and to take her essence and make it something that gives and doesn't just take up space. Um, yeah. and, and there's something so beautiful about that. And I, I really feel just a, a resounding sense of togetherness with that other individual. Both come through very strongly. That other one, even though this was longer ago, um, comes through kind of as like the force, the, the guiding force. And yeah. both kind of acknowledge a, a deep sense of, of togetherness. This is going to sound kind of strange, but uh, oh, let me figure out what this is really quickly. What in the world? Yeah. It's complicated. <laughs> There's um like stuff around like with her situation, like which how do we do this? And then <laughs> there's like a let me just give us a really quick scribble. Do you have any memories of anyone's veneer falling out or a tooth falling out or anything along those lines? Yes. Okay, I don't know why I had to do that. I'm going, <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yes, totally. <laughs> And it's like one of those things when they, they come through and stuff like that, it's so off the wall, but it symbolizes memories, things that we would recognize yes, that feeling it absolutely. gives us. When I say that, that's the feeling that they want us to hold on to. So it's Do you want me to tell you about it? Yeah, tell me. I'd love, I need okay. to know that story. So my, my uncle is my mom's brother who passed away uh, when I was 12, 14, so like 30 something years ago. And he had fake teeth and he yeah. used to chase us around and like, knock his like whole palate out and like chase yeah. us with his teeth and so it's crazy that you're saying that he's with her because i mean That's we would assume he is yeah yeah it's really yeah. it's interesting when people come through you know in life we have names and on the other side they often kind of identify themselves by symbols and you know names right. are kind of like words that represent who we are it's interesting when we look back at our lives it seems that our memories become almost part of who we are and and, and how we relate that even in readings shows that they kind of go from a one point to a much bigger kind of point of perspective. So yeah, there's so many, there's so much, like yeah. so many different, it's complicated I, I of believe. all these people. Yes. You know what? I, I would love to be able to connect in, in some capacity yeah. again in some way or another. So if you'd love to join us, I would love to be able to kind of re see what comes in. I'm going to, your name is Jamie. Jamie. Is it Jamie? Am I getting that right? Yes. J A Y M E. Okay. Fabulous. I'm going to write that down and we will keep you in mind when in, in the future group readings, if you'd like to join us, I'd love to, I'll, yes, I'll be looking I, out for I, you. I join all the time. try to join all the time as much as I can. I really appreciate it, Jamie. Thank you again. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for choosing me. I can't believe you said the, my uncle, that's my uncle Tommy. And he always oh like, it's like one of the only memories I have of him because oh, yeah. I was like 12 when he passed. So, right. and he was, he was, sick for so long and my mom took care of him wow. so it transcends like time. he would always chase us around with his teeth <laughs> and like no you would not how would you know that yes so. it's so random but you know what in those those moments of contact what comes through is, is so symbolic so thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for choosing yes. me thank you for your gift and sharing oh. it oh absolutely thank you for showing up and being here and i really appreciate it that's so so kind you guys my gosh it's so interesting too when information comes in it's just those one moments of recognition that for me really substantiate a connection. I think of, you know, people in my own life that I've met. I have a, 
bit of a distant family member, but I, I think of this person and uh, the only time I, I think of them, the imagery that comes to mind is them wearing a cowboy hat. And so if a medium were to sit with me and say, oh, you know, somebody coming through and there's a young guy and a cowboy hat, that for me would register as only being one person in my life. Um, and we find that in readings very often, those types of things come through, um, whether it's an awareness of, oh, uh, certain objects of a particular family members has been falling in the past couple weeks, or we've noticed this, you know, those kind of messages substantiate this larger idea that they are still part of our lives, that they still see what we do, and that they live on through that in some kind of larger way. I do not claim to have all the answers. And if anything, these little moments of insight are deeply humbling. They, they seem to kind of reveal that our connections with one another are a lot more complex than we realize. And it really warrants this idea that we all have the power to make a better world through the kindness that we extend. And while that might seem like a bit of a rudimentary concept, when we can take that loved one and the difference that they made and still honor them as if they are still here, because they are, <laughs> then we really can make a, a better world and one that can know our loved one through what we do. So that for me is, is always what's most important. And I hope that in not only doing readings, I'm able to demonstrate exactly what I find to be meaningful in the readings most. You know, names are cool, dates can be cool, but for me, it's the substantiating factors, the inside jokes, the things that really end up having bizarre significance that mean the most. And that's stuff that you can't guess, you can't Google. And that for me is what it's all about. So. Hey everyone, if you would like to be a part of a live group reading just like this and have a chance for a reading of your own, consider joining my membership site, The Collective, on the Fireside app. Each week of the month, I do a live group reading or a private reading giveaway. The link to join is in the description below and I hope to see you there.